Hey guys, in this episode of the Roller Coaster Project, we're going to examine ball joints and the new axle we came up for our aluminum car. Welcome to the Roller Coaster Project. Yeah! Well, you guys have already seen this car, but one thing we've been working on lately, in addition to our test track and the final design, which we'll get into in a later video, is we came up with a new axle design. The problems we had with our axles before was they were actually done on the mill rather than the lathe. However, we want rotational geometry to be fulfilled, so we're going to use the lathe. And we want it to be concentric too, so everything has to be rolling in alignment. So we decided to use the lathe. Now, we had a lot of problems with our lathe, and you're going to see in these videos. Uh, we're using a Microlux mini lathe, it's a 7x16, uh, you know, center, dis uh, center to center distance. And it's, it's a Chinese import. Um, I mean, I, I guess I was taken for. The fact that it had more power, it seemed like it was rigid because it was heavier, uh, but what it lacks, in, or what it makes up for as far as rigidity and as far as power of a DC motor and being able to cut things like stainless steel, the things that you run into is that it's just really poorly built. Um, and, most, and this, you know, this goes with a Grizzly, Harbor Freight. I mean, there's any kind of seed lathe. Now, I'm sure the upper models are you know, better, but for the price that I paid for this one, what I should have done and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually selling this lathe. I'm going to go for a Sherline 17-inch uh, lathe, uh, preferably with a CNC uh, capability, just because I want repeated parts. I want them to be the same thing, consistency. That's the key to a roller coaster, because it's all fluid motion. So when we were making our axles, we started off from the Fusion 360 design, um, which was adapted from our Inventor designs. Now, we still use Inventor from Autodesk, but Fusion 360's got really good machining programs. Uh, since we're not using a CNC lathe right now, it doesn't really do too much. However, putting in threads on Fusion 360, I mean, it's a breeze. So we did it from there. We adapted the design a little bit. Uh, after watching, um, if you guys check out ClickSpring, that guy's great, uh, I guess his name's Chris, and he's from Australia, I'm assuming. Uh, check out his channel, subscribe to it below. He is phenomenal. I mean, he he uses you know a cheaper lathe, and he uses the Sherline, he uses things like that, but he, he produces work that's you know, expert quality kind of work. And from watching his stuff, um, we picked up a few things. The one thing that we needed with our Microlux lathe was a, uh, a die holder for the tailstock. Um, so for our new axle design, we're actually threading the end of the axle rather than feeding it from the inside of the car out. It wasn't lining up straight. We were getting a lot of the car kind of wobbling off. Um, just things weren't in alignment. And ideally the track is going to guide this car, so we don't need the wheels to kind of pitch in or have any form of camber or anything like that like a normal car would have on a road. Um, so what we came up with was a threaded end, which was undercut, and then as you thread it in, we have this uh, Loctite thread compound just to keep it in. And the really clever thing, I guess, you know, <laughs> uh, was for the right side of the car, we would use right-hand threads, and for the left side, we would use left-hand threads. So we, of course, had to get different dies and different taps, but because of that, as the car moves forward, which is the only direction it's going to go, because there's no rollback, it's going to tighten the thread, and that way it's going to help just relying on the bearing to roll the car forward. As always, thank you guys for watching. You know, follow us on our Instagram page. It's The Roller Coaster Project. Follow us on our website, rollercoasterproject.com. Kind of see where this is going. Follow us on Facebook. Yet again, The Roller Coaster Project. Uh, like this video, share it. I want to hear from you guys, so please leave comments below. As always, thank you guys. Hope to hear from you soon, and we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Thanks.